Welcome back everybody. This is Excel Video 492. I'm Nate Moore. Excel Video 492 means we're eight videos away from 500. I've got a celebration plan. I'm giving away a free data analysis and all kinds of good stuff once we get to 500 videos about two months from now. So stick around. Stay tuned. What I want to do today is play with a matrix visualization as opposed to this traditional table visualization that we've been playing with in the past. So what I'm going to do just for fun is I'm going to click inside this visualization and then let's, I mean, we looked at referring group last time. I'm going to move referring group out and let's just say maybe I want to understand, I guess we could do location. Let's put the location in there and say I want to look at the location and then I want to understand the primary insurance and notice where I'm dropping the data as I put in the location and primary insurance between that and the average fee. Let's add one more field. Let's add place of service. And quite frankly, it's a bit of a mess. I mean, we can drag this and make it bigger. But there's still, I mean, it's just, once you have more than one field here, you might have one or two that you're aggregating, and that's fine. But once you have more than one or two other fields to try to analyze the data, tables get a little messy. So the solution is, I'm going to make sure I'm inside this visualization and I'm going to switch it from a table to a matrix. Before I do, notice my options. We're going to talk more about tile by in the future. But my options here are just tile by and fields. Once I switch to a matrix, what Excel is going to do is it's going to do a couple of things. Let's look over here first. Tile by is still here, but now I have a values area of the matrix and a rows and right now an empty columns area of the matrix. It looks a lot more like a pivot table if you've seen pivot table guide doing a bunch of pivot table stuff, that's a lot more what it looks like. Now that we have a matrix, instead of repeating cilantro ASC, which is the name of our location, every single row, and primary insurance for Aetna on these rows with these different places of service, we can simplify things and make it a little easier to deal with. In fact, to simplify things, let's just look at our major places of service. And remember to do that, we're just going to open up the filters area. We're going to go to our matrix. We'll pick the places of service, select them all. Let's turn off 61 and hide this. So now I have a pretty good analysis here. I can look at Cilantro ASC, then I can look at my primary insurances, and I can look at the place of service for my different locations to say, oh, well, here's where it all, here, here's where all the uh, charges are coming from, my average fee, my, how many patients I'm seeing, all that good stuff. If I want to organize this a little more, I can always click on location and first click is going to sort ascending. The second click is going to sort descending. Now I have another location here. I can sort primary insurance differently. So I could do primary insurance A to Z, Z to A, and this sort stays. So I can do multiple sort levels in this matrix visualization. That makes sense? And then from that I could, I could sort the place of service differently. The order of these columns is based on the order here in the row. So I could drag primary insurance above location and now I've got my primary insurance and I could sort that again. First click ascending, second click descending. There's work comp. Now I can go back to ascending and see my data that way and sort it in a matrix. The other thing a matrix will do besides allow you to sort and look at data this way is I could take a field like place of service and I could drag it to the columns area of the pivot table. That's not a pivot table, sorry, the columns area of the matrix. Once I've got it in the columns area of the matrix, now I can do place of service 11 and 21 and I can, I'm going to shrink it up a bit. Now I can almost see some of this data. You know, it's, it's a lot of data here, but I can control what goes in rows and columns. The other sorting thing I should show you, let me move place of service back here for a minute. I can sort by average fee, ascending and descending, and count a patient. So there's count a patient. There I've got most of my patients there in this clinic and that kind of thing. And I can always come back and say, no, I want to sort it this way. Once I go here, now I've got data in rows and in columns, and I've got closer to a pivot table, a lot more flexible way to play in a matrix. To me, it's still a little bit cluttered. There's still quite a bit of information here. It clearly, clearly, clearly does not all fit. I've got a solution that we're going to talk about drilling up and drilling down. We'll do it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.